Young's Modulus, Searle's Method. Title To Determine Young's Modulus of a Given Material by Searle's Method. Introduction According to Hooke's Law, within elastic limit, the stress developed in a body is directly proportional to the strain produced in it. The ratio of the stress to the corresponding strain within the elastic limit is called the modulus of elasticity. Young's modulus Y is defined as the ratio of tensile stress to the tensile strain. If a tensile force F acting on a wire of length L and area of cross-section A produces an elongation E, then longitudinal stress is equal to F upon A. Longitudinal strain is equal to E upon L. Therefore, Young's modulus Y is equal to F upon A divided by E upon L equals to F upon A into L upon E and this is equal to FL upon AE. Here, A is equal to pi R square where R is the radius of the wire. If the tensile force F is due to a mass M attached to the wire, we have F is equal to mg. So, we have Y is equal to mgL upon pi R square E. This equation is used to find the Young's modulus of the material of a wire by Searle's method. Apparatus. We require two identical wires of same material, same length and same diameter. Searle's apparatus. A micrometer screw gauge. Slotted weights and a meter scale. Procedure. Let us first find the radius of the wire R. For this, we make use of the micrometer screw gauge. Before taking any reading, let us find its least count. It is defined as least count is equal to pitch of the screw P upon total number of divisions on the circular scale N. To find pitch of the screw, rotate the circular scale completely till circular scale 0 coincides with 0 of reference line. Now give 10 rotations to the circular scale and note the distance L covered by the screw on the pitch scale. It is 10 millimeter. Hence, pitch of the screw P is equal to L upon 10 is equal to 10 millimeter upon 10 is equal to 1 millimeter or P is equal to 0 0.1 centimeter. Now, note the number of divisions on the circular scale N. We have N is equal to 100. Therefore, least count that is LC of the micrometer is equal to P upon N is equal to 0 0.1 upon 100 which is equal to 0 0.001 centimeter. Check by closing the screw completely whether the instrument has any zero error. If the circular scale zero line coincides with the reference line of the main scale then there is no zero error. Here, zeroth line is below the reference line, hence the error is positive. Here, second division coincides with the reference line. Hence, zero error correction E plus is equal to 2 into LC is equal to 0 0.002 centimeter. You may get the zero of circular scale above the reference line. In that case, the error 
in the instrument would be negative error. The formula for calculating negative error is E is equal to minus the whole bracket N minus X into LC. N is total number of division on CS where X is division coinciding with reference line when 0 is above the reference line. Please note, negative error is to be added to total reading. Now, hold the micrometer such that the experimental wire is in between the projecting metal piece and the screw. Rotate the screw gently so that the wire is just held. Do not exert undue pressure on the micrometer screw. Note the main scale reading A. It is 0. Now note the coincident circular scale division N. It is 53 year. Note this in table 1. Observation number 1. Main scale reading A 0, 0.0 cm. Circular scale division N 53. Circular scale reading B is equal to N into LC, which is equal to 53 into 0 0.001 centimeter, and that's equal to 0 0.053 centimeter. Total reading A plus B is equal to 0 0.053 centimeter, and corrected reading, that is, total reading minus zero error is equal to 0 0.053 minus 0 0.002 is equal to 0 0.051 centimeter. Release the circular scale. Hold the micrometer in four more positions on the wire. And note A, N, B, A plus B, and D in all cases. Enter neatly in the table 1. Now, calculate the mean diameter of the wire D and also its radius. Let us now measure the length of the experimental wire L. Use the meter scale and note the length from the point of suspension to the point fixed to the frame F1. It is 150 centimeter. There is a micrometer attached in the frame F1. Note the least count as earlier. The pitch of the screw P is equal to 0 0.1 centimeter. The number of divisions on the circular scale N is equal to 100. Therefore, least count that is LC of the micrometer is equal to P upon N is equal to 0 0.1 upon 100. Hence, least count of the screw attached to the frame F1 is equal to 0 0.001 centimeter. Let us add some weight to the hanger so that the experimental wire becomes free of kinks. Call the hanger as dead weight as it is not taken into calculation. The screw attached to the frame is used to make spirit level horizontal. To avoid backlash, the screw should be rotated in one direction. Note the direction of rotation needed to lower or to raise the tip of the micrometer screw. Adjust the screw so that the air bubble in the spirit level is at the center. It means that the spirit level is horizontal. Note the readings on the main scale and also the circular scale D. Note these in table 2. Observation number 1. Mass M equal to 0 
as there is no weight added to the hanger. Main scale reading 0.1 cm. CS 71. Total reading 0.0171. Add a weight of 500 grams to the hanger on the experimental wire A. Wait for about 1 minute as the increase in the length of the wire occurs rather slowly. Observe, the bubble in the spirit level has moved from the center. Rotate the screw so that the air bubble in the spirit level is brought to the center. Note the readings when air bubble becomes steady. This is observation number 2. Add mass of 500 grams successively and note the readings 4 more times. Let us slowly unload in steps of 500 gram and note the corresponding reading in table 2. For mass M0, find the mean reading X1 of the two readings corresponding to loading and unloading. Similarly, Find the mean of other reading corresponding to different masses. Now, we find the elongation E due to the mass M by taking the difference of mean reading corresponding to that mass from the reading corresponding to no mass, that is X1. Thus, elongation due to mass 500 grams is given by X2 minus X1. Similarly, find the elongation due to other masses and note these carefully in Table 2. Also, let us find the elongation due to mass 1000 grams by taking the differences x3 minus x1, x4 minus x2, x5 minus x3, x6 minus x4. The mean elongation for 1000 gram is found by taking mean of the above values. We get E is equal to 0.039 cm. Please note this mean is required to find Young's modulus by calculation. Plot a graph of elongation of the wire E along the y-axis and the mass added to the hanger M along the x-axis. Draw a straight line passing through the plotted points and the origin 0, 0. Slope is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Here we get the slope equal to 3.714 into 10 to the power minus 5. Let us calculate Young's modulus of the material of the wire using the formula 1 y is equal to gl upon pi r square into 1000 upon e. This is equal to 980 multiplied by 150 upon 3.14 into 0 0.025 square multiplied by 1000 upon 0 0.039. This is equal to 19.21 into 10 raised to 11 dyne per centimeter square. 2 y is equal to gl upon pi r square into 1 upon slope, where g is the acceleration due to gravity at the place. Now this is equal to 
980 multiplied by 150 upon 3.14 into 0 0.025 square multiplied by 1 upon 3.714 into 10 to the power minus 5. This is equal to 19.71 into 10 to the power 11 dyne per centimeter square. Result Young's modulus of the material of the wire Y is equal to 19.21 into 10 raised to 11 dyne per centimeter square by calculations and Y is equal to 19.71 into 10 to the power 11 dyne per centimeter square by graph. Precautions 1. Add weights to the hanger gently. Do not exert additional force on the hanger while adding the weights. 2. After adding the load to the hanger, wait for about one minute before you take the micrometer reading because the wire takes some time for elongation. 3. Turn the micrometer screw in one direction while taking readings. 4. Take the readings only after adjusting the spirit level.